Obviously, not all animations have a single object, but multi-object animation has several complexities. They might have to reach a certain point at the same time, and with crashes, change direction sharply. FZ3 has a couple of ways to handle such requirements. Right now, we're going to show you syncing. Later, we'll show you damaging objects in the momentum tools. Let's walk before we run. Just like single car animation, select and place a symbol, then animate a path. Repeat with a second symbol, in this case, intersecting paths for a crash. Whoops, we remembered to plot the reactive path for the second car, but not the first. No problem. Right click the last cap and select Insert Cap. Now, move the new cap to proper position. Let's see what happens when we click play. As you can see, the collision didn't happen because the paths were not synced. Let's correct that. Select the collision cap. Slide sync on and give it a sync number. Repeat with the second collision cap with the same number. Now they are synced. Any number of objects can be synced to the same point simply by giving each collision cap the same sync number. This shows multiple cars colliding at the same time. What about impacts occurring at different times in the path of a vehicle? Here we have a complex set of animation paths. This is what it looks like before syncing. A bit of a mess, isn't it? Now let's sync at each collision point. Sync both cap collision points. Some objects will be delayed automatically, so velocities and syncing work. Syncing is simple. Just keep these points in mind. Objects don't have to collide to be synced. Two or more objects may be synced to reach the same place at the same time without colliding. Points of meeting need to share the same sync number and each sync point must have a unique sync number. With a little practice, you can now animate and sync multiple objects. We will discuss two-car collisions in the Crash Tools section of this course.